<clears throat> so for some of you, well, actually, we don't have our microphone. We're on charger. For some of you wanting a longer experience of my workflow, for example, most recently, experimental workflow, obviously, ah, this was going to be that video. So we're going to do some vocal warm ups while we uh, edit our YouTube channel and um, do all of those fun stuffs. Um, this is how I extend some of my vocals and do some energetic healing on myself while I work. And that might be a little tricky to talk while I do that because words in English do not come naturally to me. Vibrations do. <laughs> well, kind of. It's weird. <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm a little hoarse down in here in my throat section because uh, I've been using that segment of my throat quite a bit. <clears throat> so some things you could do is like target here and go and you can raise it up and raise it down and that can remove blockages in your energy fields. This also works with like chakras if you want to combine chakras, human design, whatever you want to combine with it. It gets weird and it's fun rabbit holes to go down and learn and I am off topic because I've been distracted talking. <laughs> Just for me. Dude, I swear the interdimensionals do so much work on the back end when I actually start doing things. <laughs> Ooh, use an existing playlist as a podcast. Oh, I love it when they start doing these things. Uh, in the moment, you get to be with me chilling behind the studios, behind the scenes, while I hold the phone, which honestly, I should be holding it with a tripod. But hey, it gives you more uh, things to look at, I suppose. Uh, it's kind of nighttime. Um, 3D printer. Oh, these are the long playlists. I need to get rid of these. <laughs> Shadow work. Oh, wait. I actually want to keep that one. into an issue <laughs> um, I need a square image <laughs> suddenly <laughs> oh I might have to open the window. Okay, we are back from uh, pulling down the window and opening it. I'm pulling... What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That's fine. Ah. Okay, so we just created our first official podcast. Yes! Amazing. <clears throat> um, so, the behind the scenes. Something new and totally random. And... 
Currently, we are working with the gadgets that we have and trying to multitask. Yay! It's quite hard sometimes. I actually might need to change the lighting so I'm not too much in my logical brain when I'm doing this. There we go. Now I can be more in my emotional brain. Ooh, I need to work on my falsetto. I've been using my bass too much. I could feel the energy in here on me, which is kind of my heart chakra. <clears throat> oh yeah, that that one really, ooh, really felt it on my left ear. That vibration. Ah, uh, we got lost on the portal of YouTube. <laughs> oh, somebody we got lost. It's okay. Um, ooh, let us know if you want to do a live stream because that would be cool. I do think a live stream would be fun. Um, I'm just hoping my computer can handle the live stream. <laughs> I've done so in the past, it, but it, it kind of dropped frame rates. But I was also doing other things like gaming. Anyways, I hope I didn't drop my volume too much to where you had to adjust it. So, uh, fair warning if you did adjust your volume. I'm going to go back into warm up phases. And what am I doing right now? Oh, I was going to make a new playlist. <laughs> they moved it on me. There it is. <coughs> Uh, this is called what beatboxing beatbox 30 30 minute beatboxing challenge okay uh beat 30 minute boxing whatever <laughs> the algorithm will pick it up regardless because of how i work <clears throat> There's a gas bulb that got released from that one. see how I kept alternating between two frequencies instead of being able to hold the note of the exact frequency that I wanted I had to keep alternating back and forth to try and massage that out um, um currently I feel like there's a little bit here a little bit here it's kind of like imagine if you get damage on your vessel for example um Let's see, can you beatbox for 30, at least 30 minutes in one day? If so, post them. Um, let's create and have fun. I need to put together on there. Because we are trying to commit a community of creativity. Um, boom. So the playlist is created. And by the way, I'm doing all of this in one day. So technically this is going to be like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes behind the scenes video paired with like, at least 30 different random beats on the fly not not even like coming up with a beat like beforehand <laughs> which actually i realize that i'm passionate about and i actually overheat myself <laughs> so i have to take breaks 
to cool down. And that could be as simple as opening the window. Otherwise, it's like... <sighs> so, yeah. I, like, started getting it up here. Like, because I'm, I'm processing the, like, vibrations that are putting out and, like, receiving them. And sometimes it could be a bit much and very intense um, process. I like to do... Uh, a lot of energetic work in the shower I started learning so what I would do is take a shower be box do gibber it up we call it gibberish on earth for some reason gibberish would be like um I deem it as singing in different languages <laughs> alien human uh lately it's been more French French out of everything in the world. Although my phone is starting to burn my hands energetically, so I might need to put it somewhere. Where can I put my phone for this recording? <laughs> oh, lucky for me, I made a nice wood stand for it. I've gotten no word woodworking lately. It's been fun. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to move my charger. Behind the scenes footage for any of you that's like working at home, working at home and you just want like a random podcast of somebody else working with you so that you also have that energy <laughs> along with you. I don't know. I don't know what people watch. I just, I'm just doing stuff and trying things. It's fun. It's fun. Just have fun. Um, oh, I need to copy my descriptions from my previous videos which is, should be in my notes on my computer. <clears throat> All right, you're here for vibrational healing. That's right. like this warm up ah, gotta stretch my hands gotta stretch my hands you've been on the computer too long stretch your hands typing too much it stresses the hands out do some uh, hand yoga you do hand yoga mantras i have a whole book for hand yoga mantras that i sometimes use mostly when i'm doing like breathing methods and stuff oh yeah i've been on the computer i need to tap this area of my face it's like, I can't be on the computer for too long before I have to start doing this. Um, otherwise, I get tunnel vision and I'll go down into a two-dimensional reality of existence. And then I'm like mean to everybody around me. And it's not fun. It's not fun. There are times where I feel like I need to do that. But there's other times where it's like, oh yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> In particular, if I don't have an office where... I can just be me and go down those rabbit holes and then raise my vibration all the way back up and heal myself. It could be dangerous. And it could throw other people off. So I try my best not to be on here for too long. Because it is an energetic portal that can suck your energy out. So if you're watching this and you're on a TV, switch to something that's a little smaller and it'll absorb a little less energy from you. Quick tips. Um... But in the future, things will be quantum, so it shouldn't be absorbing as much information and energy from you. But we'll see how that works. We'll see. We'll see interdimensionals, 14-14 on the clock. We will see how they roll it out. Anyways, fun intergalactic talk. Uh, in the description of this video, you'll find a place where you could get even more information. And you could really dive into another one of my passions, which is very alien, very timeline, very uh, interstellar, whatever you want to call it. Um, in one reality, I might be an answering machine. <laughs> you never know. You never know. That's just something. But uh, 
sometimes I know too much and people don't want to know it, so I, I kind of keep it to myself. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, it's okay. It's okay. We all do the same thing. Oh, we're almost done with our exercise. Dude, there's a lot of energy stuck here. Maybe I need to do an E. Uh, brain mantra stuff. That might actually help clear up a lot of energy today. Since my breathing has been a little wonky. Due to logical processing. Oh, that's another thing. Is like, sometimes breathing does not come naturally to me. And it's like, it's almost like I've lived too many lives as greys or something. And I don't breathe as much. <laughs> Humans are like... <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, I need to do sound bath on my face. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna rub our hands together. Oh, eye stretches. Go to the left side, go to the right side, up, down, circles. You can rub your hand, open your eyes, and then put them over them. They'll help too. These are just things that I've been picking up here on Earth to help with the vessel healing experience, so... Uh, what do they say? Sukasa, whatever. <laughs> My knowledge is your knowledge if you watch this. If you take the time to be with me, you're gonna learn so much. If not, then you get to, I don't know, you get to do your own adventure. Earth is a choose your own adventure story. Wow, chopping hands. And then put it over your eyes. I'm just regurgitating to you what I've already learned so far. E oh, quick tip. If you want to know where you have blocked energy at, uh, you could say E. You start off at the highest note you could hit, and then bring it down a little bit, raise it up even higher if you can, and then go all the way down, You and then go up, and then down again. And whatever notes you end up missing on your your uh, gentle rise and fall, down and up, is where you have stagnant energy, 17, 17 on the clock. So, <clears throat> let me give you a demonstration. Um, I like to use uh, ah for my heart chakra, so that way I can make sure that I'm getting all the notes and unlocking everything. If not, oh yeah, by the way, thank you for staying around for this long, because this is a really long video, so, <laughs> like, to me it's a long video, but at the same time it's like, what else am I going to do, just sit here and work, and then, you know, in the astral maybe you're watching me? Yeah. That might be a little weird, I might get a little weird about that in the astral, since that might not be consensual, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm just blurbing stuff right now. Stuff that's on my mind. <sighs> See? Missing some right there in the center. do to massage it out is you can go back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth so imagine there's like one one uh, line that's missing on your notebook paper or something so if you go up down up down and then you write one line one line one line one line and you get closer and closer and closer and closer to that line it's like massaging that line till it like almost becomes non-existent in a way it's kind of weird the other thing you can do is hit underneath it or hit above it and then just push it down um it's a little tricky to do but uh you'll learn it the more you practice it and feel it in your body i highly recommend in um, the shower or the bath you can actually pick up and hear it better um 
if your hearing is not quite there yet, then that's probably going to be one of the first areas you need to really, really heal so that you can pick up the frequencies better. You're going to hear the tone because um, when you hit the right frequency, a lot of times your ears will, it almost amplifies. It makes it sound like it's five times louder than it actually is. Um, and that's just because it's like, uh, if you look at a wavelength going like this, the convergent point on your ears, it's a little wave going up and down, it hits your ears directly and that channels it into your body and it's like, it's a whole process. It gets complicated. Okay, my pinky is like irritating me right now because I'm getting too much into my third eye or whatever energy center you call it. Um, I'm going to put on my glasses here. This will help me a little bit diffuse some of the blue light from my computer since it's nighttime. We're going into late hours and night shift for me, apparently. Um, <clears throat> let's go back into some healing. <laughs> e sound bath after today <laughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> that might even explain why i've had so many thoughts lately uh. 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 okay the other thing is when you burp sometimes when you just let it out naturally you can hear what vibration it is like that one was like kind of strained my vocals a little bit on that one you got to be careful when you're first getting into it because you can strain your vocals but um the vocals don't last all the time it's very it's like a healing period so like you strain your vocals to the point where uh it heals and adapts to that frequency and then gets upgraded the next day or two days later or something it's like telling the universe, like, hey, I want these notes, and I'm going to put in the work so that I get them. <laughs> like a weird way of thinking about it. Anyways. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should do a whole list of, like, behind the scenes. Ooh, that would be a good one. Behind the scenes. This isn't called a podcast, is it? Maybe. Oh, you know what? This could be a podcast scene. Um... How do we do a create, create playlist, a new podcast, create new podcast, title, description, I need a picture again. <laughs> oh my gosh, why? I get to these stages and then I'm like, ah, I need a picture. And then I'm like, what do I want to upload? Yeah, this is me on a uh, more chill basis. I get out all my crazy energy, like doing the one minute videos and whatever else I do. Dude, my shadow self is so obsessed with these time numbers. And then it's funny when it like displays it right next to my face. And then I'm like, ah, confirmation. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of funny. Funny how things work.
And a moment of silence while we type on the keyboard. <laughs> frequency is that one? Ah! Ooh, I just, I felt something in my throat. Okay, so it's up here in the Adam's apple-ish area. <coughs> oh, gosh. Mm. <laughs> I think I found the spot. <laughs> so it's up here in the Adam's apple. So I'm just going to massage it, maybe. I physically massage it, and maybe that'll help it push out some of the energy as well. And I'm talking while I massage it, so. Um, some of us can get some blockages in our body and not be fully aware of it until we actually, like, touch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. So what I like to do is, um, when I'm feeling really, really great, and I'm aware of what I'm doing. I'll like work for about five, 10 minutes. And then I'll like start healing my body. <laughs> Cause literally everything I do right now is like, it takes a little bit of damage on the vessel. And if you want to bypass sleeping as much, you gotta take care of your vessel even more. Otherwise you end up sleeping a lot more. So, like, if I'm on the computer 24-7, or, like, 8-hour shifts, I'll just say 8 hours. If I'm on the computer 8 hours, that's very damaging on my vessel. If I'm, like, if I'm on the computer for, and I'm going to close my computer so it's not absorbing as much energy, and it can sleep for a little bit and day dream. <clears throat> if I am on the computer 8 hours a day, then uh, right here on my face can get really swollen. It can get stressed. And a lot of times, I just need to take a time out from the computer, spend more time with plants and in the sun, and they'll heal me. Um, other times, what I actually just need to do is just take breaks from the computer. Uh, when we stare at plants, it, it has a calming effect, and it like um, instinctually reminds us of being calm out in nature. And when we're not around some of those aspects, we can get very... Um, in our head and very like detached like we're in a spaceship flying through space and nature's like nowhere to be found kind of feeling um and it could be disassociating in a way from our body so yeah i had no clue this was going to be another like weird healing kind of thing beyond just vibrational vocals i thought it was just going to do vi vocal healing and then I realized, no, I've kind of strained my vocals for today. <laughs> so, I mean, not totally strained them, but I am relaxing them and talking in one tone that I typically talk in when I use my other vocals more often. Um, I want to say this is a lower frequency volume, just so I'm digging more into my shadow self of kind of where I've been accumulating damage because if I'm in my higher self then I'm like healing them so I'm using my higher self and working with my shadow self at the same time um, and using my middle self to guide both of them to work together think of me as like physical 3d me as a negotiator between my higher and lower selves it's kind of weird kind of confusing and my thoughts and being in my head can get really chaotic and sometimes I have to tell my higher self and lower self that I just need a break. <laughs> you know, and that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes all we have to do is just sit down or whatnot. Um, but the other thing is everybody works completely different. This is just what I experience. So like for you, you could experience something totally different. You could be a dragon for all I know, you know. You could be a uh, fairy, or you could be a human with like a billion lives in, I don't know, the Orion system, or maybe you're used to living dragon lives all the time and this is your first time being human. Dude, there's so many weird things that you could be. You just have to unlock your imagination and then like feel it and imagine it and like live in those moments 
and then whatever it is Buddha else says, yeah, no, just, just, just do you, just trust whatever you, you feel is right, um, you know, and you could even be, like, called an evil person in this life. And that doesn't mean you're evil. That just means that you're playing that particular role in this lifetime. Um, the other thing is you could be you could be a, a happy hero kind of character in this lifetime. Really, all it is is no matter what you do, you're learning. You're evolving your soul. So, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Regardless. No matter what you do, you learn ridiculous you could even try committing soul suicide and I, I i don't recommend it it's a very painful long process yeah 31 13 on the clock <laughs> very long tedious process and uh yeah gosh i don't know how many times i've tried to do soul suicide in this life and it's like not even it's not even that series of a lifetime either compared to my other ones it's like this one's been more chill it's like, dude, what have I been like in my other ones? I think that's like... And like, it's not necessarily soul suicide, but like my three-dimensional self feels like that sometimes. And I wonder if that was picking it up from my shadow self. And it could just be from not healing my trauma. Who knows? Anyway, this, is, this podcast has gone like really weird wonky and long if you guys would like me to do a live i would totally be down for that i'm totally down for live um yeah and the live would be like totally random because everybody's energy would be there so it'd be all over the place i'm gonna end it at 32 23 on the clock well now it's changed on me but whatever <laughs> bye love you see you in the next episode